Testing, testing, emergency press conference live from New York City. So we, how do you want I know it? most of it. So you um, want like just bullet points of things you just I, I need the, I need the date, I know that. You're gonna be able to read you better? I don't have great handwriting. No. I, I have good handwriting. This is all I saw a gambling rag in my parents' basement called Barstool Sports. Little I know then, the, like the wild ride that it would put us on, one of those stops was New York City four years ago, as opposed to like Dayton. Day. Which one would, what do you need to trigger you? Like which, which, if you pick a spot, like I could say four years ago. Like, 17 years ago, four years like ago. We'll see this. what I forget. And then yeah. we'll may have a, Yeah, I'll let you know what you forget. But the way we do it, we could like cut it too. Like cut I know, different takes. I have never done that. Uh, all right, if you just clap in front of that mic, you can step down there so that we can start. Music. Okay, 17 years ago, I started a little company. No idea that the wild ride that would set us on, me and the rest of the guys, rest of the girls. I might as well start over. We cover this real. We cover it the fuck. No idea at all. Well, fuck. Do you need to rewrite something? No, I'll just put what I need. The first one that I need is May 14th. See how this goes. I may have to add more to it. Parents' basement, but that was not going to be good. I'm not going to blame you, Gaz, but I think you moved. I'm here to tell you we've taken another strategic investor in Barstool Sports, Penn National Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Make way, make way for the new king. I have unlimited money. Like, I have unlimited. It's like, every year we get bigger, we get stronger, we take bigger steps. Fuck you, Rich, right now. It's like insane. I just created a half a billion dollar fucking couple. Nope. Fucking rich as fuck. Fuck you, Brian Couple. I mean, I buy and sell you, dude. That's, That's my new move. I just, people I don't like, I just shower them with hundreds. Dave, aka, is this Webster, aka, I, Crazy Dave, aka, Money Man. I'm looking for him to get somewhere between 30 and 35 million. That's pocket change for Portnoy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it is for him, but not for a lot of quarterbacks in the national football. All right. Go, Brian, go! Go, Brian, go! Go, Prince, go! Did you ever think you would get get here? This fuck no. I mean, I've known this is wor in the works, but no, no, I don't think anybody ever thought in a billion trillion years we'd get here. I mean, it's pretty surreal. Any doubters in particular that you just wanna that you're gonna revel in? This is only the first step, so it's like, do I want to send out a tweet to Clay Travis? who said he was worth hundreds of millions of dollars and be like, hey, Clay, let's race. First one, 100 million, ready, set, go, done. Like, yeah, I want to send that tweet, but will I? I don't know. Yeah, hey, bigger man. I got, I got to take a bigger fish to fry. Congrats. Thanks. Great. Insane. Yeah. That's a handshake. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, um, it's crazy. I, I, this guy's a millionaire. It's crazy. Insane. Thanks. Yeah, I almost went to journalism school, being like debt. No, we yeah. just sold for $450 million. I'm proud of myself that I never gave up on this guy. No, one in a millennium big brain. We had like a conference call with like the head, like Penn guy, and they're like, all right, who wants to go? And I went first, and they're like, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know that you're going to be allowed in. The money, baby, got me out of control. Throw some Skittles at me, because I'm in <laughs> Hi, Frankie. Uh, what do you think? Congratulations. Amazing. You're so excited about a hug? Yeah. So so and it's nine o'clock. Oh, I, yeah, no. You know I what I mean? Like, I'm like, like where is everyone? And I'm like, this looks so fucking bad with Penn. Like, we don't have anybody at work. Uh, Jay is going to meet the company. And then uh, we're going to do... Mad Money, I'm assuming? Yeah, Mad Never. Money, and then we go. Uh, we have the whole crew here. Yeah, Let's go. So. We're in the whole crew. Congrats, oh, buddy. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. You guys are really scrappy. I love that. We're scrappy. You guys are disruptive. In your, in your business, I love that. Um, I think we're viewed as disruptive in our space and you guys innovate, which I think is fantastic and we're innovators in our space. So um, it feels right. It just, it just feels right. People were talking, they were getting me nervous. Like if there was like, you know, that when the, the pen, when the uh, original rumor came out, if someone wants to buy something, you can't get in trouble for that, right? What? In, you you like, worried about insider trading? Yeah. You would get in trouble if you had Facts. Let's say it's like for a hundred bucks. Like no one's gonna be coming knocking on someone's door. No, I don't. Think well, they might. Like they have fans of stool scenes. It might be. Might have been Marwan over there when we announced it this morning. Bought stock yeah. and then sold it at lunchtime. Made a hundred bucks and went and bought lunch. Did you pump and dump our stock? What? No, no, it's another kid. What other kid? I hate that kid. 
A pump and dump. One block, the car goes stock and it's sold it. Me? Yeah. fucking did it. He don't shit his pants. Maybe that fucking kid. Yeah, we had, we had a guy over there pump and dump our stock. He bought it, it's went out, sold it, made a hundred bucks, and went got lunch. <laughs> Good for that. That's a smart kid. I keep asking, like, I know it's stupid like kid. Big bands, big bands, bro, I need big bands. I hit the party, all the females, they big bands. People be hating, I, I just got a note from one of my college roommates. It's no Andy Lawrence here. Don't you dare muck up our <laughs> <laughs> Two hours of my day are depending on it. <laughs> <laughs> big bands, big bands, bro, I need big bands. I hit the party, all the females, they big bands. People be hating, I got to keep my distance. Bro, don't call me if a joke is certain big bands. Big bands. Big bands, bro, I need big bands. I hit the party, all the females, they big fans. People be hating, yeah, I got to keep my distance. Oh, Everybody's so dressed up, it's killing me. It's killing me. <laughs> What's going on? How are you? Good to see you. Hey, man. Jim, I'm Jay, you doing? Yeah, yeah, Jim, and you're cooking. Yeah. You're cooking. This Thank is fun you. today, huh? We're talking about the new way that people communicate. Yes. They're excited. It's no more bullshit. It's like real. That's right. It's transparent. It's so exciting. Ever since the Supreme Court legalized sports gambling in 2018, we've been looking for potential winners to really step up and take advantage of an amazing opportunity. That's exactly what Penn National Gaming did today. I mean, here's a company that runs dozens of casinos, racetracks, and today they did something huge. They bought 36% equity stake in Barstool Sports, valuing the incredibly popular digital media play at $450 million. You will see a Barstool Sportsbook app in August of this year before football season. You will see Barstool Sportsbooks retail sports books at all of our casinos where it's legal, and you will likely see barstool sports bars uh, throughout our, our properties as well. We're very excited about the, the brand and very excited about working with Dave and Erica. Okay. This is the gambling stock to own. Everybody's back in. Excellent. Right. That was great. Did you have Angelos yet? You, you had, know, had it at There's a the line. Time. It's a line. You, you can get Angelos. You want me to call it in? I, if I have to do that for a, a Philly native, I can do it. Bands, big bands, bro. I need big bands. I hit the party. All the females, they big bands. People be hating. I got keep my distance. Bro, don't call me if a joke is certain. Big bands, big bands, big bands, bro. I need big bands. I hit the party. Go straight to a club game or what? Nice. Fuck no. Straight to bed. Uh, address is so uh, Dave Grutman, King of Miami, basically runs Miami, um, and he wants to meet Erica. So Erica's never met him. So we're just gonna sit down and like have a coffee or whatever. Shoes off. I don't know their shoes off right in front. David, they should nice probably to meet, you. meet you. How you doing? I'm like your biggest publicist and I've never met you. Hi, guys. What a day. Yep. <laughs> you would have had no chance. Oh, okay, well, I'll have something. I mean, I watched you get in here. My nena, tu esta candela. Tan dura como una de novela. Y su cuerpo como una sirena. I didn't even know what the. Why are you gonna stand up there until this is done? Come here to watch. Sure you're not. Not. Right. I was gonna be, fuck you, Sam. <laughs> it's terrible. No. It's a bomb. I mean, it was terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, everyone? Yeah, I mean, like, what like, was your your contract's public? What was your last contract? It's a six-year deal for fifty-four million. Oh, I'm way more than you. Yeah, way more than me. Fuck right. Yeah. Fuck like, right. Way more than All right, we're good. Good morning. In terms of whole, like tired <laughs> level, I'm fairly tired. I was out fairly late. Uh, we're going to do Fox um, Business with Maria Bartiromo. Bartiromo. Saw Hank, bumped into Hank in the club. Hank's mother DM'd me yesterday. To say congratulations? Yeah, just like, I'm not I, sure. she was like, I thought Henry working in that Milton office was a very bad idea. <laughs> oh, she said that? Yeah. She did think that was a bad idea. <laughs> yes, she did. That time He's he like, cut I his... guess I was very wrong. Yeah, the time he cut his finger off on the drone, he had her on speakers like, I told you not to work with that person. <laughs> Ooh, 
You know, what's exciting is we've gone from, let's say, a $12 million valuation three and a half years ago to $450 million today, wow. which is unheard of in media. All right, we will leave it there. Dave Portnoy, Erica Nardini, great to see you both. Thank you. Congratulations Thanks. to you. We'll take a break. outside. No, no, I'm saying we're outside your hotel. We're causing massive traffic in Miami. I mean, how many more seconds before like this bus takes me out? Legit traffic jam we've started. Imagine if anyone but Dave did this. He can do whatever he wants. All right. What's up? Oh, you guys are the best, Thanks, dude. man. Man, that's so cool. My suit fucking ripped. What? What? I had like a huge rip in the pocket when I put it on. Damn. I have like no voice. That's the same. I wanted to skip radio, but it was like, uh, I knew there was too many people on it. Do you hear Rico's call? I, I I saw that he called. I saw a clip. I have no. It is. Is it good? Maybe the best he's ever question. had. Fuck all the haters. Fucking Rico. I went out to dinner with um. It was like me, Rosillo, Chris. I Long. saw Rosillo. Rosillo is such a meathead. I saw him walking down the street. He, I mean, he, he he looks like a steroid pill. <laughs> I was like, he dude, probably you look, just coming from the gym, he was, so he had a little bit of a he pump. He was going. I was like, dude, you look like he's like, I'm going to the gym, relax, dude. He looks good. We we got Cuban on. I'd been trying to get him on PMT for four years. On Wednesday, he replied to an email from 2017, <laughs> saying, "Congrats." <laughs> what was crazy. the original Hank? He was like 20 years old, blackout drunk, pitching the Burger King CEO ideas. And then when we went to Hollywood and uh, tried to pitch the rundown that one time. We were going through like, we're meeting with like Comedy Central and HBO and Hank was, we were bringing Hank into the meetings in his fucking shorts. That was the most misguided we've ever been in my life. I was actually, you know what, was a real blast from the past because I was with Carissa last night. Like, I completely forgot we did that spelling bee. B-E-L-L-I-G-R-E-N-T. Sorry, that is incorrect. Hank, <laughs> I need you, man. L E P. R A C H. Hey. These are terrible first round hey, words. We couldn't spell. No one could spell. We, spell. we are not the smartest group. Well, we write for a living. We got mayonnaise wrong Leprechaun. four times. You were getting mad about, like, you were fighting with her about the spelling of words. My problem was leprechaun was my first word, and things like tongue were being thrown out in the third round, and weird. I think weird was a fourth round word. Weird. W-E-I-R-D. Like, you'd misspell something, you're like, no, you're wrong. You Spell cockled. C-U-C-K-H-O-L-D. That's wrong, see? You can, yeah. Thank you. You could not spell you cuckold. Spell I mean, I always know on my side, the, the black, I've said the, the back to stool is an unmitigated disaster. I thought I'd lose 100% of every deposit, which would have put us out of business. It ended up being like 50%. I think Barstool LA too was a little demoralizing. Yeah. Because it was like, shit, we can't just... Yeah, I heard you confirm the part like when we oh, yeah. had each other's throat. Oh, yeah. We Those were, rundowns. Yeah, we would have made it. Everyone would have yes. made it, but it, that was like Barstool, as people know, it was very close right. to like being done. It was very much on edge. And actually, the funniest part is, I don't even know if you remember this, Dave, the meeting where you told us about churning was Kevin and I being like, we need to like change something yeah, because right. yeah. it's like driving us nuts. Yeah, it's just like a band that's been together for yeah. a long time. Right, and the lead singer who yeah. had, you know, had gotten some money, yeah. and the drummer and bass were like, hey, I don't wanna do my own album. <laughs> It's gonna rain tonight. That's gonna suck. A legitimate tornado. There's a tornado, and they're gonna shut this fucking thing down in 30 minutes because, like, the tornado. There's like a, there's like a foot of water in there. But it's a torrential downpour. If you put people outside, they're gonna die. This could be our last stamp. Went down last night. 
was a very, very brief glimpse into what I went through three to four times a week in the prime of the blackouts, which was disaster scenarios every single night that you can't predict. You know, in the middle of a blackout party in the background, I can hear Dante and Devlin, the Dawn and Devlin on stage screaming at people. We are the only tournament of him. Gad said, he's like, we were a second away from that being Woodstock because <laughs> it was getting rowdy and the water was up to people's knees. If we wanted to bring back the blackout tour to have it in, we shoot him again. Sitting on his phone trying to like call a boat to evacuate him. Like he's on the Titanic. Uh, where are we heading now? What's the, what's the Fox, so yeah, I agreed to this Fox hit with Waters World like a while ago. And then the more I thought, it's like Saturday night in the Super Bowl. It's like, that's why I'm dressed like this. I'm like, I like put on my Fox. It's like, but I committed to it and I tried to get out of it. I told him, like, it's Saturday, I'm going to be drunk. I'm going to be drinking all day. I'm going to be drunk. You want a drunk guy on your show? And they're like, yeah. I didn't drink. I was too tired. I slept all day. Be back and they'll be back in the Super Bowl. This is just a this is an aberration and an asterisk here for the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay. You sound like a comedian out of work. Well, uh, well you know, six, six, you're gonna six, take that? Six six Super Bowl. that? How many Super Bowl rings you got? We got six of them, so that's not a joke. Well, that, okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for making it. Yep. I did not ever think I would be sitting this. I couldn't fucking understand Lou Holtz. <laughs> Fucking Lou Holtz and Joel Theismann. Yes, that's a I've never done anything remotely similar to that. Being valued at 450 million, uh, what has that been like just seeing a uh, day like this come to fruition? It's you know, I know that Barstool's big. I've sort of gotten used to like people recognizing me at this point. But then when you sit back, it seems like you can snap your fingers and be back in my parents' basement, you know, wondering what I was doing. So it's been a surreal, wild ride. And we have so much to do that I'm looking forward to. I really don't let myself think about it that much. Have a couple seconds of reflection, and then it's, all right, let's get to work.